Vitamin D supplements are commonly taken during colder months, as sunlight is less accessible. However, it's important to know when to take too much vitamin D and how to determine if it could potentially cause death when taken too much. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin essential for overall health and specific body functions. It helps in absorbing calcium, building strong bones, supporting muscle and nerve function, heart health, and immunity. However, certain conditions like aging, osteoporosis, neurological diseases, malabsorption disorders, kidney and liver diseases, depression, pregnancy, and rickets can lead to vitamin D deficiency, which can be exacerbated by certain factors. Vitamin D needs vary based on age, with recommended daily intakes starting at 25 micrograms, 1,000 IU, for newborns, and increasing to 100 micrograms, 4,000 IU, for adults. Skin produces vitamin D when exposed to sunlight, but it needs enough exposure and for a long period. Factors such as pollution, sunscreen, and melanin content can shield skin from absorbing enough sunlight. Latitude and season also influence UV absorption and vitamin D production. Sun exposure for adequate vitamin D production might be less than expected, and research suggests exposing arms and legs to sunlight at midday for 5 to 30 minutes at least twice a week. Vitamin D is also found in some foods, such as egg yolks, mushrooms exposed to UV light, and fatty fish like salmon, tuna, and sardines. Some foods are fortified with vitamin D, such as milk, cereal, and juice. The National Academy of Medicine recommends a safe upper limit of 4,000 IU of vitamin D supplements, but higher doses may be used for other short-term health issues. Studies show that taking between 40,000 to 100,000 IU daily for several months can cause vitamin D toxicity, highlighting the potential dangers of excessive vitamin D intake. A 2020 study in the Brazilian Journal of Nephrology found that many cases of vitamin D toxicity start as vitamin D deficiency. People who were deficient in vitamin D or presumed to be deficient based on living in colder regions took vitamin D supplements in doses higher than recommended, or the dose they supplemented with, combined with foods containing vitamin D, put them over the limit. This type of toxicity usually happens over time, as an excess of vitamin D can lead to other health problems, such as hypercalcemia. While not life-threatening, toxicity can be harmful to health, leading to kidney failure, arrhythmia, ataxia, and confusion in severe cases. The buildup of vitamin D in the body may happen when taking very high doses for several months. Vitamin D toxicity does not occur with sun exposure, as the body limits how much vitamin D it makes from UV light. However, too much sun exposure carries risks, including sunburn and skin cancer, so it is important to take proper precautions to avoid these risks. Vitamin D toxicity can be detected through warning signs such as nausea, vomiting, muscle weakness, confusion, pain, loss of appetite, dehydration, excessive urination, thirst, and kidney stones. If these signs are present, it's crucial to stop supplementing and consult a healthcare practitioner as vitamin D toxicity can lead to kidney failure, irregular heartbeat, and death. Vitamin D toxicity treatment involves reducing calcium levels in the blood. Healthcare providers may stop vitamin D and calcium supplements, administer four fluids for dehydration, prescribe corticosteroids and bisphosphonates for severe toxicity, and in rare cases, hemodialysis may be necessary due to kidney damage to eliminate excessive calcium. To prevent vitamin D toxicity, consult your healthcare provider before taking supplements, limit supplements to what your provider recommends, and avoid taking more than prescribed. Regular blood tests are essential for monitoring vitamin D levels in your blood. Store supplements and prescriptions in a safe place away from children and pets. Vitamin D is essential for various bodily functions and overall health. To determine if you are on target, Consult your healthcare practitioner's blood work. If supplementing with vitamin D, ensure you are getting enough. The best way to obtain vitamin D is through safe sun exposure and consuming foods containing vitamin D, such as egg yolks, mushrooms, fatty fish, and fortified milk. 
These foods provide vitamin D and other essential nutrients for good health.